Hi guys, so today I'm going to watch a new video and it's actually an interesting video. It is basically uh, some people in 1989 talking about what the year 2020 gonna be, okay? So they are actually trying to predict the future. <laughs> so it is going to be so fascinating, right? You know, some people from 30, 30 years before trying to predict the future. That's that is awesome, right? So anyway, let's go and check out this video. It is going to be, it is going to be very interesting, right? Let's go. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go. Homes, okay. Protect the environment. And what new technology do researchers think we'll be living with? Well, we've been talking to some of the people who've been thinking about the homes of the future. Christine McNulty. Christine McNulty, okay. I started the Home of the Future project to find out what people will want from their homes. They'll want all the benefits of modern technology, but without all you the right. complex gadgetry that comes today. They'll want homes. By 2020, all of this will be possible. We'll have okay. things under control without all of these knobs and buttons. And what's more, the technology itself will be embedded in the very fabric of the house and its furniture. So the idea is, once all the clutter of technology is gone, you'll be able to furnish your rooms in any style you like. You won't actually be able to see the technology. It will be there, okay. doing its job without getting in your way. That means the lights automatically switch off and on as you walk between rooms. And the home will <laughs> sound like you like them. A simple command gives you music, perhaps piped in from a sound like... <laughs> Alexa, where are you, man? <laughs> where are you, girl, right? <laughs> Come on. No more PowerPoints. Plugs no more PowerPoints. Pads, picking up power from Let's still do Ah. According to another researcher, David Butler. That's a little crazy. Okay. Yeah. You got that right. <laughs> ah, that's right. There are already materials that can help. This honeycomb material is being used on the outside of a building in Strathclyde to heat it by trapping the energy in diffused daylight as it hits the walls. And aerogel, this is aerogel here, is a form of glass with a similar structure at a microscopic level. It can do the same job, but it'll be thinner and transparent. And if these two things become widely wow. used by 2020, wow. we can one day reduce heating bills almost to zero and help to cut down our use of fossil fuels. The other key is for the home to use more energy more intelligently. The heating system could learn your daily routine and only heat the rooms that you'll be using. The living room will be at just the right temperature as you come downstairs. The people who are already planning the home will be living in in 30 years assure us that we can take as much or as little of this technology as we like. The crucial point is that there'll be no single home of the future. There'll be millions of different ones. We choose the type of home we want to live in. The technology takes a backseat. The technology takes a backseat. Wow. So guys, it is interesting to see, you know, what they think, you know. Uh, some of the things, you know, it's just crazy, but at least they didn't, you know, 
predicted flying cars or you know freaking ro robots ruling our world right so i'm gonna give a mark for that <laughs> and you know things like you know the voice installation you know the alexa you know they they actually got that right that's awesome right and some of the things they are saying is just is just a little bit crazy right you know the power power installation uh, through the walls you know electricity electricity through the walls i think that's just that's just dangerous that's just crazy right i don't know maybe maybe they maybe they just thought that you know we will find a way i don't know <laughs> and you know but yeah and and the thing you know the thing they are predicting actually i think they are predicting the things actually for the rich people maybe they thought that you know by 2020 everybody going to be super rich right or they thought that it is going to be super cheap right i don't know <laughs> i think that is what i'm thinking about that and the most interesting thing about this video is that you know in 1989 nobody seems to care about the internet you know nobody seems to care about the internet and I don't know why man i think the the interest uh, the interest you know came alive through uh, very well alive through in 1989 right but still you know the internet actually around since 15s right 1950s right and but still they didn't seem to care about the internet because man, maybe they thought it is never going to be that big of a deal but right now we are actually living that internet era right so it is interesting to see what they think and of course they got something wrong something right but ah, it is it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy to think that you know <laughs> what what is what is going to be like after 30 years in 2050 what is going to be like 2050 right man i can't wait actually i can't wait i don't want to get to alter that quickly so anyway that is my reaction to this video guys and see you, see you soon.